Hello world, again, this is our Sunday discussion. And who we have here to my right, we have Takia McFadden. She has a BS in business administration with a concentration in accounting and she is currently a baking consultant. We have Latrice Jennings. She's a administrative, excuse me, coordinator and a mother of one. And then we have Angela Simpson. She's a registered nurse. If anybody gets sick, we have on hand. <laughs> okay, so today the topic is put yourself in a situation, ladies, where you're dealing with children on an everyday basis. Not your children, but other people's children. Is it right to retaliate? And the reason I ask that question is because we've been seeing a lot of teacher-student balance. What are y'all thoughts on there? Now, the last thing I heard, and I didn't watch it. I don't know how true it is, but the last thing I heard was uh, the student, a high school student, so I'm going to just say give or take 15 to 17 years old, I'm not sure, was following a teacher around the classroom because I think she emailed her parent or something, maybe because of her behavior or whatever, but she was following the teacher Miss and stepped on her toe and shoved her, or you like kind of bumped her. So if you were in that situation, like, do you retaliate? Do you remove yourself from the situation? Like, what are y'all thoughts on that? Okay. And then, you know, you just use this if you want to speak, so we don't want to speak at a time. And keep in mind, the topic can go to any other topic in the world. It may not just stay here. And if you have questions, be sure to put it on here so we can respond to it. Anybody want to go on that topic? Okay. I'm glad to speak. Okay, with um, teacher teacher student retaliation, I feel like the teacher is the adult in the situation. Okay. So, regardless of the child, how they're provoking, you still have to con conduct yourself accordingly because you are the adult in the situation. Um, you're mature enough. Um, you have those behavior skills. You are college educated, so you are trained in psychology and how okay. to deal with those difficulties. So, I really feel like um, the teacher should step back and assume the responsibility as an adult in that situation okay so with that being said and again i'm going off just hearsay okay so i hear a lot of individuals and maybe not a lot a few individuals become teachers for that summer break mm -hmm. so this is not their calling this is not something they really want to do so who's to say they really paid attention in psychology class or you get what i'm saying like right. yes so i believe that there are a level of authority so if you feel like there's something going on in the class where you can't handle the situation, you always have your supervisor, which may be a principal, assistant principal, right. that you could reach out to and let them know what's going on if you're not sure how to handle the situation. Um, although you may not pay attention in classes, you may just be doing it for, for the benefits or the schedule, you still have to put yourself in someone else's shoes. If it was your child, you wouldn't want that teacher to do something to your child or try to handle the situation on their own. And you can always call that, that student's parent, mm -hmm. let them know what's going on and see if there's something that they could do over the phone, come in or maybe speak to that student, you know, cause yeah. some students may tend to straighten up once their parent, I don't once know. they get it out. Trish, you want to say something? <laughs> Go ahead. We're all African Americans. Right. We're African Americans. We know our people. We know our children. We know our culture. I'll put right. it like that. We know our culture. Right. We do know for the instance as far as where this girl was following this um child this um teacher. teacher around, knowing that the teacher already emailed the parent, which the teacher did took the first initiative to okay. get the parents involved. Right, right, right. Now you're mad on how your parent reacted to you. They probably took your iPhone or whatever. Mm -hmm. So now you're mad up in school again, not realizing you're dig digging yourself a dig deeper hole. Right. Right? So now you're following this grown adult. Right. Adult right. around the class. This is not your friend. And how, you, how you're acting in the school, I know your parents said something to you about my right. email. Right. right. So right. you're still following me as an adult, which you already, first of all, know better of. Right. Okay? You do know better. So if you do take it to a sense where you do put your hands on me. You put your foot on me. I could take a blow. I could take a blow. It's okay. Let's right. go. Let's go on up here. But at the time, and you never know how it's going to react. You don't you know what know. was the why did I have to email your parent, whatever situation right. was going on. So you don't know why this lady 
reacted right, that way. Right. Because if I can sit here and say, yeah, right. I could take a lick, that teacher could take a lick. That, yeah, she you know? could have took but a lick. But at the end of the day, it was something that was said, a problem that was Previously. already there. Exactly. With them, the parent and the teacher that allowed the student to act this type of way. So sometimes you do get sick and tired. Sometimes but, you do. And it's hard to actually keep your composure as an adult because you have a kid right here like, this kid is really doing this to right. me. Same like, time. like you're talk, you talk, you talking to yourself. This kid is doing this to me. Right. Like, how do this kid feel comfortable? You have to talk to yourself in moments like that. So I do believe it. You do need to have some certain composure of you as being a teacher. But sometimes right. you do get how sick of tired because right. our culture. We know our culture. We know our kids are more evolved. They are people now. Right. Back then, we yeah, we scared of our parents. We are scared of our parents. Do respect. Right. Right. But yet, at the end of the day, you tell me, hey, is something wrong? Wrong. I'm feeling this is wrong. So I'm going to address it as a kid. Right. Not knowing, well, knowing what you're doing. But not how the outcomes are. Right. So, and I don't know if this is fair to say or not. Okay, so this kid is acting out. We don't know the reason why. We don't know what's going on. Right. But does it kind of say, you know, does that mean she acts like that at home? If my child can sit here and disrespect an adult... Right. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then what is... Is she disrespecting the parents at home? Like, or... or oh. You... Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I, I, Go ahead, Angela. Her. Okay. Well, um, I feel like that has a lot to do with the upbringing in the household because okay. it depends. Take us it, to another topic. It see. depends on what the parents allows. If the parents does not chastise their child and, and tell them what's right and what's wrong and understanding authority and adults and how you should be respectful, then of course they're gonna get to school. It doesn't matter if they're at school, they're at church, their bus driver. Um, another adult they see out in the community, they're going to have the same demeanor. Right. So I, I really feel like it has a lot to do with um, home and the upbringing of what we teach our children. I'm going to use myself as an example. Okay. I have two male children. Um, one is 14 and then one is a baby. So the 14-year-old, mm -hmm. you know, he's in high school. So, you know, I kind of teach him how to be respectful. Right, like, right. you're not going to say anything to an adult that you're not going to say to me. Exactly. So if you can say it to me, then you better be able to say it to them, vice versa. Right. So if you, you're not going to disrespect me in my face. You're not going to disrespect another adult. Exactly. So it has a lot to do with the parents and what the parents are still in their children. However, in some cases, children tend to... Do their own thing when they're okay. amongst peers. That's, that's their that's friends. And, about, and you know, it's peer like. pressure. So sometimes they want to, especially the boys, they want to get the, the swollen chest and feel the big head. And then the girls can get sassy because of their friends. Because of their friends. I understand that. But however, it comes back to, are you more afraid of what your parents is going to say if you get in trouble? Are you are you concerned about what this adult is going to say right here? Either which way, you in a lose-lose situation. Right. Because you can disrespect this teacher or whomever. But however, it's still going to get to your parents. So the best thing for you to do is just to stay in line and not be disrespectful, period. Right. But parents do play a big factor. And I'm going to chime in on male children, especially the fathers in the home. Mm -hmm. makes a big difference um, with male children. They tend to be more afraid and, and more um, nervous about saying certain things to a because male of the figure. Outcome, the because of the outcome. You know, and with the female, it could be, oh, I could say whatever. So if you got a male child and a female and, you know, teacher or professor, you know, they may tend to feel like, oh, I can say what I want to say, but if this was a male teacher, mm -hmm. what if that make a difference? Because we do need more black male educators, too. We do. I can't argue with that. We definitely need more black educators. Go ahead, Sakia. So, um, just to piggyback off what you say, now, I know, speaking on my experience, at home, I knew what to do. I knew how to say yes, ma'am, no, sir. But there are some teachers that start off being really soft so you just know like things you can get away with right. and so there has been a class where i really like showed out only because i knew the teacher was never gonna call my parents oh, wow. never let them know okay anything that i'm doing in class it wasn't rude things but it was just like constantly talking or you know just childish things that you kids do sassy. yeah <laughs> and i just knew that i could get away with it so i did it and because another, the teacher didn't do anything right and then another thing like Sometimes I can f I feel like if a parent shelter you and don't allow you to do anything when you're at school and you're around other people, it just gives you that freedom to just do whatever you want to do. So you could get to school and it's mm. totally different being that your mm. parent isn't there. All right, so that was to repeat the question one more time. I know the question, mm -hmm. but I want to pick, but I do, I got two points. All right, say your question one more time. Okay, so you put yourself in a situation where you're dealing with children on an everyday basis. Is it right to retaliate? And no, the reason I asked that, the second one, the second one. We, 
what we've been seeing a lot of teacher student violence or when i ask about the adult does that mean she acts out at home yeah okay. because she disrespects gotcha. her okay yeah acts out at home okay okay you can have i'm gonna I'm go the different route for you guys okay. to open up a new another okay. perspective That's... um the one that is at home is being the one the child that is at home is the one that's getting dragged. You're getting eh, 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 okay eh, eh, eh. You from know your this? parents. Yes. Why you have this? Get that off my table. You know you have uh, you having a ring around my table. This and that. It's a little thing. Now you're not getting this, or either I'm cutting your butt for this because it's okay. my new table. Whatever. Okay. Right. Right. You do have some who are not treated fairly at home. Brought off love, country right. love, because everyone know everyone. Right. As far as that, that right. plays a big part in you showing your butt at games and everything. Because hey, okay. that's me. Hey, such, such and such. No, my mama. You know, that's okay. The Versus us saying th growing up in the city limits where, yeah, you have love, but yet you have survival. Let's not act like in certain parts. Let's say when you go to your gardens, no disrespect or anything, but right. yet where we're it's, up a, yes. we're up a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because I'm coming from a different perspective. Okay, all right. I mean, it's still the same topic, but a different. I got your you. part, how to survive, how to protect. This is your cousin. You're protecting your cousin, your brother, your sister. You go down the street and get beat up. You better come home beat up too, because my bitch bet not had get beat up. Blase blase, right? Right. Versus when you right. come home, man. Kylie right. beat me up today, ma. All right. Okay. Well, right. y'all just saw whatever it right. Right. You right. know, you know, because you can go, remember what Kali is such a right. 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 Oh, they got to fight over football, this and that. Right. Okay, and it squashes a difference. But yet, let's say in that particular setting, no, you got to go back there and fight because people are watching you, how you're going to react. Now you might end up getting bullied as long as you live in the spot. Oh, my God, that's didn't. so true. So now with that, you're going home. And I'm gonna say you got your butt beat that day. This now you going to school next day. I thought I got my buddy you know saying I ain't now the teacher is trying to love me, trying to show. Hey, I need you to pay attention to this. Man, I don't feel like paying attention to this. And he just act, he's himself. acting out every day. He's acting himself. out, not knowing, not this lesson is not even on his mind. Right. What's on his mind is when he get back off his bus and go back home. How he's gonna solve this so he won't look a particular way. He or she. Right. Right. Because right. girls can be as mean as boys. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. Girls, especially if you're keeping girls up. Right, right, right. Can be as mean. So when they act out in front in school, act out in school, think about how they possibly getting treated at home. Mm -hmm. Right. Makes a, it makes that a that lot makes a lot of sense. sense. It does. And when you say you chest out, you chest, you chest, I love it. But yet when you look at it from up, what are you doing to this child? You're damaging this child mentally before they can even stand up well enough to know, hey, I know I got to go from A to D. But I know I got to go through B, C, E, but yet right. you're taking me from A to D and now I'm not sure what to do in the middle. I'm Aww. missing some lessons yeah. because you cut it short. Because you cut it short real fast. You cut it that short ring around me. the table that could have been wiped off. Yes. Right. Now I'm trying to get from D to M like, okay, okay, I'm scared. Okay, I'm scared, but I'm school. <sighs> but I'm home. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes. true. That could make but a lot of but sense. how do you change something like that? You get what I'm saying? You can't. Like, it's, it's never going to change. And and as on like on last Sunday segment, people were saying the parents are getting younger. Parents was young then. Parents were young then. The only thing difference between our parents being young this day, we have more. We have more to have. We have more. What you call it? We have more. We have. We just have opportunities, advancement. Yes. We have a little bit yes. more of everything. But we have more babies having babies. But too. but no no no. Back then, babies were having babies. Mothers were having more kids. Did. Then they could take care of them. the oldest daughter had to stay home with all the younger ones. Skip out on education because mama had to work, daddy had to work, but she had to take he or she, she had to take care yeah. of little sisters and yeah. missed out on education and then had to get married in what 10 more years later. Yeah, so Takia. Yeah. And I can't say, um, I'm pretty sure that I'm a little bit younger than y'all, so um, not, right now, right <laughs> now, so now it's like it seems to me as. More households nowadays have the mother present mm -hmm. and not the father present. Or Correct. the father present and not the mother present. Correct. So with that being said, it's less... Well, speaking from my experience. Okay. So I, I come from a family of three. So my mom has three kids um, and my father is not in my life, have never been in my life. Um, so there were certain things that my mother didn't touch bases on. Like I just knew how to act. Like, as far as saying yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, I never had to say that at home, but I already knew when I, I get out that. in public, 
I know what to do. Right. I just, I don't know. I just guess I just had those manners. So I think nowadays it's like the parents are not taking the time out to actually sit down with those children and teach them right from wrong and such certain bases, I would say. Let me say this right quick. Okay, so yeah, the parents, would you like to join in? You can come have a seat here. Give us one minute. I'm going to slant that kind of a little bit. Towards um, me. Yeah. Okay, so nowadays, let's say the daddy's not in the home. Because we see that a lot. You get what I'm saying? Mama got to work two or three jobs. And it's not fair to the kids to the child but does she have time to really like you know instill that mannerism in them the behavior mm -hmm. and all this stuff how you should act because she's working to make sure y'all got food on the table so now this this kid is lacking the upbringing that they need because mama gotta work to do what she gotta do right you know so it's like it's like a lose-lose situation for the kid at some times oh yeah well, i'm sorry what was the question well, it, and it went so many ways. Um, yeah. The original question was, put yourself in a situation that you're dealing with children. You know, and we he, we see a lot of teacher-student violence. What are your thoughts? But it went to, you know, um, what does it mean? Is she acting out at home with this adult because she's able to disrespect this teacher? And she's disrespecting cry for help. Is it a cry for help? Well, I mean, not necessarily. It's not all the time. They really see you. Oh, so you okay? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> it's not necessarily all the time the student fault. Um, yes, please. In my case, um, I work 15, 16 hours a day. I work two jobs. I have three children, single parent. However, bus driver just dragged my child off the bus by his book bag. He didn't say anything to him, but my child is vocal. He's not disrespectful, but if you do wrong by him, he will let you know that you know you're not right. That's not right what you did. Most adults do get offended by a child telling them what's right and what's wrong but they in expressing their feelings. Right. So she felt it was okay for her mm -hmm. to drag my child off by the bus by his book bag. And the other students was like, you know, that's wrong. He could have hurt himself, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm blessed enough to where I can get off my job when needed. Mm -hmm. I went up there. It's still an open case. They still have to view the video or whatever. But, yeah, my child defends itself. He's very mouthy. I know that about my child, which ends up, he's ended up getting in trouble, getting suspended for defending himself and being mouthy. However, I have my child's back, but I do teach them not to be disrespectful, to respect your elders. However, you're not going to be nobody's stepping stool. Mm hmm so it's not, in my opinion, it's not all the time. It's not the student or the child. Sometimes it can be that adult feel that the parent is not going to do anything, especially when some people feel more superior mm -hmm. because of skin because color or whatever. Color, they feel right? that we're not going to do anything. And most people feel we send our children to school because we want to babysit or we don't want to be bothered with our own children, which that's not the case. Right. But that's the way I look at it. Right. Yeah, that's a valid point. Yeah, yeah. I um I I just want to um add some things to that and just kind of piggyback off what she said. Um, in reference to how our children are viewed, um, you know, for as other cultures see, um, they just see um these kids and these single mothers and it's typically um disproportionately African American women with kids. It's always just us and our children. And then the other cultures look at us and say, well, where, where are the men? You know, where are the African-American mm -hmm. men? Because, I mean, they're much needed. And, you know, it makes a big difference. And I grew up in a two-parent household. So I feel like they helped me a lot. Now, did I not do some sneaky things at school? Yes, I did. But however, I did not get in trouble because I was worried mm -hmm. about what was going to happen when I get home. Right. Um, and it was myself and I have two older brothers. Same things for them. But, you know, um, our father played a big, big factor in um, some of our behaviors um, versus um, now where, you know, a mom of three, like April said, and working 15, 16 hours a day, where do you have that time? Like, you need I I a two-parent household. Like, it's no other way to look at it. Like, you know, we didn't create the children by ourselves. Right. So, therefore, it should be... Half and half where, you know, father does come in sometime with discipline. Um, 
or they're there to just help out a little bit so mom doesn't have to work those long hours and right. they can spend more time and invest in some of those good morals and qualities. And like she said, we know our children. We know we what know they're capable children. of. But however, I, I mean, I have or to Or do agree. we? We have, I have to agree with her. It all depends on the person or the parent. It does. And even though I'm a single parent, I mean, their dad, which is my last one, his, their, his father, still disciplined them. However, our upbringing was different. Mm -hmm. And he was raised by his grandparents. And that makes a big difference. And I was raised by my grandparents and my mother. Right. Slim, on the other hand, only had grandma and mom. But I had the pleasure of having granddaddy Both and granddad, my right. And my dad before they divorced. Right. However, I still stayed in trouble because I was one of those vocal too. So I know I can't blame them because I know they get it from me. Right. If you don't do right or whatever, I don't care how old you are. I'm not being, it's a way of being disrespectful. And getting your point across. I don't have to disrespect you to let you know that I don't appreciate the way you're doing me. Right, right. Go ahead, Trish. One thing, one thing, all right, um, back paddling on, um, for piggybacking off what both of you were saying, well, what you started as far as um, fathers are needed in the home. Mm -hmm. They are. Do, do you believe the independent, how the independence of a woman can sometimes skew that line mm -hmm. of needing him okay. as a woman. Because I know we, we already heard multiple women say, mm -hmm. I, I don't need no man you. for nothing. You're right. But You're right. The blase, blase. Or yeah. either when I want a man, I don't want him for yeah. his money, this and that. Huh? Huh? It right. makes him All right. feel less of a man. No, though. no, no. It makes him feel less of a man. A man wants to be needed. He wants to be needed. Right. A man... Really don't want, he already know. He already had a black mama. Mm -hmm. He already know how, how, how can go at mm -hmm. times. But I already know at times you say, that's all I'm going to say. Right. What? Yeah. That's all you're going to say? Okay. Right. That's all you're right. going to say. Right. So you know right. what I mean? Just being honest. So I do, I do believe as a, as a, in our culture, our women are not even ready, not ready to have that conversation because we're not ready to raise our hand and point a finger. Right. Some of the at things yourself. we do ourselves. Yeah. We're we're not talking about a man. Let's say who always get caught with this. You yeah. know that's that's a whole different. We are that's. The, 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 but I'm yeah. talking about more of knowing you are an independent woman, knowing you can survive on your own as far as in taking right. care of your kids right. and yourself. You're you're proving that to yourself. You're proving it to the world, mm -hmm. whoever. But at the end of the day, this man feeling this warmth of this man getting intimacy from a man getting conversation. From a man or a woman, whoever you like, or just somebody else with you on mm -hmm. this life, it seems like it makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Anyway, not as far as always dealing about money. And first of all, stop saying you don't want a man for his money because at the end of the day, if your birthday come and he don't get you right, nothing, you're gonna you have said you just say. want my love. I love you. I'm here, girl. You're gonna be mad. You don't got no present. Right. So we need to stop saying that. We need to also stop just saying. Oh, all y'all niggas. No, 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 no. All, all niggas ain't, and all niggas ain't dogs. Guess what? We got German Shepherds serving different um, purpose. purpose. Poodles serving different purpose. You're right. Pit bulls, Yorkies. Everybody is different. And answer some of them inboxes. You never know. You never what know. What in there? Yeah. Don't, don't just, don't just oh, he promote yourself. Oh, he in my inbox. I'm not talking. Yes. Mm -hmm. And on social media, you promote your looks. You promote your thoughts. So what you think It may be do? attracted to your thoughts. It looks whatever. If a shot gets shot, hey, oh, just answer it. See where yep. it's at. A block. Right. But you need somebody in this life, man. You need somebody. You need a companion. You, you need a companion. And your right. children do we too. We just had that conversation. With Matter of fact, we yes. got into an argument over it because of our child. Mm -hmm. And he told me that I'm treating them like girls. I'm raising the boys like girls. My response was, that's all I know. Exactly. I can teach them how to be self-sufficient, how to make sure they stay clean, how right. to wash clothes, how to cook, right. how to treat a woman. Right. But far as being a man, right. I never yeah. was a man. Right. Never want to mm -hmm. be a man. Right. Can't relate. Right. That's teach you how your to treat job. a woman from a right. man's perspective. Exactly. perspective. Right. That's your job. So, I don't care if it's taking him to go get his hair cut, y'all right. riding together, whatever the case may right. be. Conversation. This is something that you have to do. All right. I understand that 
from your past relationships and your children, you had limitations. Because a lot of women, oh, you can't get them this weekend. You get them when I'm ready to go out or you get them when it's convenient for me or what have you. Right. No, you don't have that here. Whenever you're ready for your child or you want to spend time with your you child, come you get come get them. Mm -hmm. Just call right. and tell me, get them dressed, tell them to get dressed, pack his clothes. I'm coming to get them. Mm -hmm. You don't have that with me. Right. So by saying that, yeah, I, I had to learn because of my past relationships that I don't have to do it all by myself. Mm -hmm. right. It actually feels good to take some of that pressure mm -hmm. off. Right. Right. However, we do not see eye to eye on everything when it comes to discipline. That's fair. But then I can't understand disciplining a boy. Hey, it's hard. Because you're a woman. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. I want to bring up something. This might take us a little back. Okay, so... When you were mentioning trees about the city, the country, what have you, you get what I'm saying? Some mm -hmm. apartment complexes. Some of my own Section 8. You get what I'm saying? And, and correct me if I'm wrong, anybody in here, but you have to make like a certain income or below. So now you're on Medicaid, you're on food stamps, you're on Section 8, and daddy got to be on child support. Mm -hmm. Correct, daddy has to So be now he can't even come to be with his children because I have to put you on child support because I need the assistance because we don't know what daddy going through. He may be the greatest daddy in the world. Financially, he may not have it. Or financially, he may be working at McDonald's. Or he, he can only do what he can do, but he can't live with me, so now he got to pay his bills. He can't pay mine too, or he can't do as much. But I'm forced to put him on some type of, of, of you know, like... Because of assistance. assistance. Because right. I need assistance. I'm going to keep Is that fair to them? And that's what keeps us separated. It it's fair to everybody. Why do you say that, Trees? Because let's not act like... One thing about me, as far as when it comes to having babies, I always point the finger at the female because I control you coming into me raw. I mm -hmm. control and feeling that condom break and feeling the warm meat inside me and don't want you to stop after drinking this Patrona. Right. Yeah. I control that. I control that. So if I'm allowing you to go in me raw, I don't care if it's under the head, whatever the outcome is, it, hey, that's what it is. And let's not act like when we do have babies that we are actually loving these men. We have women who have sex with men just because they don't like who you with. Mm, to have. Now, it's so many come on, let's not act like, That's why I say we got to start pointing the fingers at us because we actually have. So you mean we to say, had a I don't foot. like trees. I'm going to sleep with her man. Yes, yeah. yes, they do. Yes. yes. Not even about, it's not even about no. the man. It's about, hey, yeah, you think you happy and you got him all to yourself. I'm going to be It's a night. power trip. Yeah. You did. It's a power. Yes. I like the way you put that. It's a power trip. That's thinking crazy. that, thinking you're going to, you're crazy. going to, to disrupt me. my space. My personal space in my mind. Let me tell you they how do. ghetto I am. They do. Okay? And they we're do. keeping it real. Because like I say, we they talk. Do, baby. Let me tell you how ghetto. So, okay, everybody know me and CJ married, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I had this chick call. This is about seven, eight years ago. I don't know. So maybe she was on this. Huh? <laughs> you think that's your man, whatever. Mm -hmm. She have nerves to call and say, uh, let me speak to the mood. We call Monty to the mood. Oh, okay. But you don't know me. This is what I told her. I say, you don't know me. What you mean? I don't know. You don't know if I got herpes. You don't know if I got AIDS. And you sitting here sleeping with my man. If he got time to sleep with you, you think I'm just being here stupid? So what does it say about you? Like, come on, you have to think. They're not thinking about what, it, say, what it says about them. What I'm the only thing is, yeah, you look happy. You ain't got no words. Guess what? You think, yo, I'm going to prove that I can get it. It's not about even but the man. But you don't know what you're getting. It, it's no. not about that You don't period. know what you're getting. That's, that's right. not the motor frame. Not, I do not have herpes yeah. and AIDS. Yeah. It was just a point yeah, I was not, proving. She don't know the, shit about me. That's, 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 that's what not, I was saying. That's not the motive. The motive is to disrupt your space. That's, that's, right. you that's know. called misery. Misery loves company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. I promise now, you. I can say, I'm sorry about everyone, but I have been in a situation with someone who has someone else and it's not that I purposely did it but it's not like I went around and said oh do you have a woman let me go ahead and sleep with you yeah. it wasn't that way however I feel like if I'm going to I don't really feel the need that I have to let the female know what's going on because at the end of the day I knew what was going on before I did it and at the end of the day she's going to stay with her man like we go through things in a relationship if it's something that you probably want to work on and be over it then okay i don't expect for me to come and say oh i slept with your man last night for you to up and leave him and then come to me i don't expect that however i would never 
try to get back at a female or I think you're happy so I'm going to try to go and sleep with your man to make me feel good at the end of the day. The only reason that I would let a female know what's going on is because I don't think that it's fair. If my feelings are involved and this person is telling me, oh, I don't really care about this person, I don't want to be with this person anymore, and you're telling me whatever to make me feel good and, you're, and the female is walking around thinking that everything is, oh, I don't know, thinking everything is good. I want right. to let you know what your man is doing, not for you to leave him, but I just want you to know. But is it fair to her? Is it fair to me either? Even though you feel it's not fair to you, you still put yourself in that situation knowing that he was already taken. Correct. Now, nine times mm -hmm. out of ten, if a person going to sit there and decide to have a side piece, they need to be honest. Mm -hmm. You will never be number one. Mm -hmm. I'm only doing this is because <coughs> we're having me. issues at home or nine times out of ten she don't want to give me none and I know it's easier for me to come over here to you and get what I'm going to be honest and then come back home you don't have exactly. to be either way no you don't have to be honest yep. but then when you're going to sit there and you're going to have a side piece if you pay attention mm -hmm. to it they automatically let you know without even coming out saying it Mm -hmm. When you call and be Actions. like, I'm bored, or I want to go out to eat. Well, look, she getting ready to come home in a few minutes. I can't do it. So, They'll let yeah. you know from the get-go, you ain't number one. Exactly. Don't put yourself in that situation. Mm -hmm. The only way you put yourself in that situation is if you already know what you're planning on getting out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that means getting a wet booty. A wet booty or whatever. Because that's pretty much all you're going to mm -hmm. get. Because right. at the end of the day, the only way that man going to pay your bills or whatever is if he married and unhappy and that woman. Mm -hmm. And then still at the end of the day, if he croak, what you gonna get out of it? Nothing. Besides a wet booty. Nothing. It ain't mm -hmm. worth it. Well, hopefully not, not you get some finances. Not the only way you gonna get, uh-uh-uh. Keep the feelings no, out of keep, it. You got to keep, and a lot of women can't keep their feelings out of it. That's what, and then not only women, but it's men too. And I've come mm. across a lot mm. of they men that actually, get, they actually get attached. Mm -hmm. And where you mess up is where if I'm going to keep it real with you. I ain't been no angel back in my days. Back in my days, I have a man. I'm good. I'm faithful. You cross me that one bad time. Mm. It's done. Completely? Yeah, completely. So why you ain't leave that man? Because he won't leave me alone. You still want to come around and everything after I tell you it's done and it's over with? I don't need you stalking my house. I don't need you trying to figure out where I'm going. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm sitting there with another man or whatever, you appear from out of nowhere. But see, I wasn't good enough for you. When, when you had me. When well, we was together. Mm -hmm. But see, now that you see that the grass ain't green on the other side, you don't want to see me happy and you mm -hmm. want me back. Even though my feelings are still there and maybe down the line, I feel like we can work it out or whatever. But not one time will I ever call myself dealing with somebody else without them knowing that he's still in my life. Mm -hmm. Even if we're not on good terms or what have you, I still go around him. He's still in my life. I still conversate with him. In other words, I think the biggest mistake that a lot of people make, and it's not just by being truthful, mm -hmm. it's just by letting them know, look, you are not my number one. You And it sounds cold, but you're not my main priority. You're just here for the time being. Sure, feelings come up after a while or what have you, but in other words, the biggest thing is communication. Mm -hmm. It's like I tell them, ain't no need for you to come lie to me and be like I'm single or we're not making, you know, not making it. We're mad at each other or what have you or whatever the issue is. Keep it real because I might not want nothing from you. They're sleeping with you. Okay. See how we can switch that's topics? True. It goes that's, all over the place. That's, that's go true. ahead, Angela. I, I do want to add into what she says and I want to go back to the original topic okay. where about um the children and in school and the behavior. So if the male figure, the father of these children have more time to be doing all this extra stuff, that's time they could have invested in their children. Okay. They wasting time doing other stuff. Instead of focusing on maybe my child is acting out. Maybe my child is having problems at the house. Or, you know, maybe my child needs some attention. And I'm not saying per se the, the, the mother figure. Right. Because, you know, we, we do what go. we can do. We do what we can do when we can do it. But on their end, okay, so if you got time to do all this other stuff that you yeah, may be I doing. got time to do all this other stuff. You could have time for your you child to help to child. instill those morals and values. Exactly. So, you don't, the mother don't get those if phone the calls. the mother allows him to do it. Correct. Because I've been on each side. Correct. But see, Mother stopped the child from coming around to daddy because she got mad because I did the child here. Oh, I don't want to be your child mother. She has a mother. 
Why can't we just get along? What mm -hmm. y'all had before didn't work out. It's called co-parenting. Correct. As long as you're not mistreating my right, child. Right, right. That's what a lot of people have you, and I'm trying to. She know who I am. She know I'm not her mom. I'm not right. trying to be her mom. I'm right. not trying to discipline right. her enough. But she know Miss April gonna make a But if I'm loving right. her daddy or whatever, it's a package deal. Same way it is with a female. Correct. I expect you to treat my kids with the utmost respect, and I expect you to do right by my kids. So but a lot of the times, the father is hindered from doing what they're supposed to do by their child because of the mother. It ain't always the man fault. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's the mother fault. That's true. So, so with that being said, so so we have to go back to what Tree said. We have to look at ourselves, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And see where... Not all of us. Well, real quick, real all. quick, real quick. Um, Whoever is tuning in, Demetria, tell me how long I've been running. I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't keeping up time. Somebody let me know when it's 45 minutes. Go ahead, Andrew. So, with that being said, so, um, for us with the mother, so would that make us have to look at ourselves? Or, yeah. or, because we have a lot of people who our kids act out to. Exactly. Okay. So, you know, especially when they sit there and they have negative things to say about the father. Not one yeah, time I have I never, ever said I anything never negative in front of my child. So, here never. is our child here, these negative stuff yeah. at home. They're not a good environment at home because mama could be mad because daddy ain't there. Yeah, mama exactly. could say, it don't matter, regardless mama of the fact. because daddy moved, decided to move on. And that has a lot to do with why children go to school. Exactly. And they act Angry. out. So, it goes back to what we said. It has to start in the household. Everything has to start from home. For Thirty-seven minutes. Um, nice. Brother, uh, we want to discipline our children. I have sometimes we might need to have those conversations because our children internalize everything, even though we may not tell. Them, but they internalize they, they see it. it. So, yeah, like Tree said, you, they you get to school. Come. Pay attention to your word. Right there, right now. And then because he's thinking about he's thinking about what's going on at his house. He's thinking about his mom. So he's let me. I gotta interject dad. right quick. Okay. So he little Tommy can't do his work because he's thinking about what's going on at he's home. Thinking about what's going on in at his home. two parent household where he hear mama and daddy arguing almost every night. Same concept. So is it fair to be in a two parent household no. when that child gotta hear this arguing not every night, no, not or just be with healthy. mama not or daddy? If you get what I'm saying? Healthy, if it's not, if, if it's not, healthy, if it's not healthy, healthy, ain't no need to be yeah, here. Correct. That's how I feel. Yeah. Correct. It's yeah. the health, healthiest environment. The healthiest environment. Co-parenting. Co-parenting mm -hmm. and keeping your kids out your business. Correct. Yeah. I think I think Truth. I think with the damn when it comes to co-parents, and as far as coming from a woman's point of view, mm -hmm. if you we have so many so many men who do this is the one I think two mistakes that men do make. Okay. As far as when they're transitioning. From leaving, let's say leaving the, who they were with for what with the kids, right. going to someone else. Right. You need to tell this one the straight up no chaser, the one who you leaving. You need to explain. You need your to be feelings. up front. You need to don't. I don't care if she come to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to sit right there and explain your feelings about why you're moving, so she can comprehend what you, what you're doing, what the problem. And you really need is. and you need not to you need not to keep trying to have sex just so she won't. Why, 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 why? Right, 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 right. 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 Hey. But in return, you need to not if you do get in a new. Give it time to breathe. Right. That's a bunch. I don't care if she did it. At the end of the day, she's sitting realizing what's going on. If she's not healthy in a mental space to take care of your kids, right? Don't be selfish to let her see everything else. Right. Yes, it's your life. Right. You live your life how you right. want to. But you cannot do not smudge it all in this mm -hmm. person's face. I don't mm -hmm. care if she cheated on you with your cousin. She still got to take care of your kids. She still got to take mm -hmm. care of your and kids. And if she ain't all right mentally, mm -hmm. guess what? That same child going to come to your Do classroom. Do y'all hear that? Right. Going to come to your classroom. That's right. Acting up. Because mommy been crying. Mommy is more snappy with you. Right. Mommy exactly. don't have no patience with you. Because right. she made a mistake. That's She's right. trying to make it right. Right. But daddy's not accepting this. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care if it's your cousin. If that girl got your kids, you do not want to read about your kids. Right. Dead. Oh, you're right. Dead for something because she cannot. She can't, she can't register. register it. That sure. depression is real. Depression, depression is real. Is that stuff is so real yeah. with women as far as our hormones, even yep. from a cycle. I'm from telling one you, one, we know we can be a I, little. I'm beast. a beast. About two days. You know that ain't it's okay. real. You <laughs> yeah, that's real. But yeah, you got to stop. Don't don't even try to hump her no more. Let her. Let she her help, heal. Yeah, let her heal. That's right. Let her heal. Give us some money. And so she can take her children. Yes, right. Yes, the one thing that's most important. So she can forgive herself, love herself. Don't kiki kiki. Yeah, you did that. 
No, it ain't no funny when you have to go to the hospital because your child got a broken arm because she right. ate too many snacks. Right. Because she was in rage. Yeah. Right. Yes, it hurt her. I guarantee you nine times out of ten, the majority of them are going to be like, well, since you're not mentally stable, I'll take on the responsibility of, of the child. Man, come on. Until you get uh, yourself and, together. Of course. And, and, and let me not say right. this. Not let me say right. this right quick. And this pro Look, we done started off with the classroom. Now we done Listen, I told you this can go all over the place. Let me say this. Is it fair... That we hold these men to, oh, but how he was brought up. No. He wasn't brought up right. We got to understand mm -hmm. where he come from. And, you know, what he went through when he's a child. I don't understand it. You have to. I don't. You got listen. To, you got to. Why, though? Why you are you to. holding that as a crutch? It's not a crutch. It's not a crutch. It's not a crutch. You if I got to get over so I'm not teaching no grown man it's how to do well, anything. Be, no, no, no. It's not. Then that's why we're not you together. Have, it's so many men out there who is well put together. You don't have to get one that you got to build up. Right. And feel like, if you don't have to get one like that, it's so many that's well put together. Businessman, album man. Sometimes uh, man, business man, whatever, this and that. Um, it's so many. Sometimes you don't have to. Don't know but, sometimes, but sometimes your heart be like, okay. It was let me heart. Yeah. I know you can beat us. It's a challenge. Let me help you. Let me help Let me help us. Let me help you for me. Let me help you for me. Let's grow together. Because I know what you Correct. can do. Let me see if I can pull I know it what out of you. Capable of. But it's not fair. But that's all depending on the female. If you want to put yourself through that, if you don't, then don't go yeah, further right. with it. Yes, correct. Because you see those red flags. At the you see them. You do. But do and you, do you pay attention? No, you don't. It be the transfer energy It's a proven fact that your sex. IQ drops when you're in love. It's be the, it be you, the you energy don't. transfer. It's a proven fact. Mm -hmm. And then this is what we do. Mm -hmm. We are so in love. Make we have these kids. And then we got all these excuses. And then once we have these kids, and for us, reality kicks in. Yep. And they can't follow the train. And I got my kids like, more we, important. We got to do certain things a certain way. And but it's like they can't day, conform. Who's, who's the blame? We are. Okay. We have to be realistic wow. about it. I feel like as an African-American woman or black woman, however we decide to... I have to be strong enough mm. to pick up the slack because I put myself in exactly. Mm. So when our kids go to school, and it all goes back to that gospel, the song, expectations ain't no need to complain. Ain't no need to complain. When our kids go to school and they act out and they misbehave, before we go to pointing our fingers at these teachers mm -hmm. and saying they wrong, no, what we need to do is sit down. You ain't had no business putting your hands on my child. Correct, but however. Mm -hmm. I need to go to my child and say, you got a problem with what did you do? What did you do? What, 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 what did made y'all get, get to this point? Why did we get to this point and say, so you know what? We had a rough, we had a rough I'm going to have a conversation year. with my child. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to tell my child, we can go have a conversation with that adult right. teacher. Look and when we sit down, I need you to be straightforward about what role you play. And then as an adult, goes back to what we said, as an adult on that teacher or that, right. like she said, that bus driver or that professional or that principal. Okay, so as the adult, what did you do that was wrong or what you could have did to the When it all boils down to it, I don't want to hear nothing about, we. yeah, we do talk. Right. On what you feel you did wrong, or what you felt that made her upset enough to do that. Right. But at the end of the day, she done made me upset enough by putting her hands on my. And child. I and I, I agree no, no, no. That. Hold on, hold on. Now if the tables were turned, and I would wait for her tail outside that bus stop and drag her tail off wrong. by her shirt. Would be wrong. Then I have charges yes, pressed up would. against me. Yes, they would. For defending my child. But guess mm -hmm. what? Okay. We know that you are bigger. But they that, you because you are an educated heart. black woman and they look for us to, to, do, act, that to, to act that way yeah, so when you right. can handle it a better of way course. and you know even though you know you know your child like you said you know him you know what role he mm -hmm. played mm -hmm. but however you still know as an adult that is wrong to do that to a child exactly. and that's the bottom line it goes back to what we were saying exactly. in the beginning as the adult mm -hmm. we still have to assume our role Know our position and know right. how to deal with kids. Yes, you okay. will have to struggle. Ladies, we, ladies, are, we are at 45 minutes. Oh, I'm going to let, I'm a let no, okay. I'm a let Trees, Apron, and Takiya talk, right. and we have right. to stop and do right. this right, right. quick. Go ahead, Trees. Off both, what did it, off both, what, what both of them said. Why are we always, when it's in defense of our okay. kids and we are standing up for them, why are we always held at such expectations? as the way that we express ourselves what do you mean who's we are we as oh, women okay, we as okay. we as women of this particular culture because i cannot speak on anybody else's culture because i'm not okay in that. All right, 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 right i only can speak about the one that i know of it's the way we, we, we yes we are always expected to 
have some level of expectations on how we express ourselves when when we are very passionate about something we speak about. Correct. Like we're speaking now. Oh, we're they're arguing. No, 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 not that, not that. I know this. Let someone else from another. Oh, they just yell. No, we're speaking about a passionate because topic. We're naturally a pa- loud. Yes, a passionate topic. We're naturally loud. Yes, and so why are you expected to because speak some type of way or handle yourself some type of way when you're going over? Why? Why do they put that on us? That's just how it is. When you look at it, and it, it so it's the same way when it comes to weight. When I go to the doctor, why are you telling me I'm overweight? I'm not Caucasian. Y'all do the scale and everything. Body mass is not based on true. our body structure. Exactly. And I can so why tell you my attitude people? and my emotions be based on your study of a Caucasian. And it is. It's true. Is, do you know, and I want to add this to it, not to cut in or anything. Do you know that the average blood pressure is 120 over 80? That was based on the three Caucasian men ages 30 to 40. Oh, wow. That's where they got that average this. from. So that was a case study. So, yes. I, you know, I'm just adding that to, to piggyback mm-hmm. off of what she yes. said. Wow. So mm-hmm. as a different culture, women of stuff. color, men of color, we people of color, stuff. We have a different level of standards. They expect the way we the built, yes, our health, yes, blood pressure, cholesterol. Yes. And if you look at it, sickle cell, they even name that as a black person. So, oh, and oh, I, so we have knowledge of that. Why we don't? So we have Do knowledge. You know of, I will accept I my sister's blackness as far as her being loud and vocal right. and finger pointing mm-hmm. and saying this yeah. because that is who we are. When when we're when are we on a mass scale? Right. I do believe if we all of us on a mass scale, not speaking of us in here, right. except who we are right. and who America. We accept who mm, we are, but the rest of America that. can't accept who we are. All right, now, who are they for to accept us? It's We're not going nowhere. That way. It's been built that yes. way for years, so mm-hmm. hundreds and hundreds of years. Correct. They don't want to acknowledge. And so that's restrictions. And, and, exactly. What, what those restrictions lead to? What, and it's stereotyping. Correct. And mm. what does it do to our children? Amen. Amen. No, and you know, my child actually this, cried when I told him, mm. well, baby, when he first started driving mm. and we was in the car, my baby put his his wallet on top of the dashboard. Mm. I said, Mari, why do you have your wallet on top of the dashboard? He said, because if I get pulled over by the police, you I don't, don't have to reach for nothing. It's pocket. right there on the dashboard. I don't have to reach down or in my pocket for anything. I can reach on the dashboard and get my license That's and everything sad. from out of yeah. it. So I it hear it in your voice. You because I had, school, yeah, it hurts. Out because I, I had to sit there and explain to him before he even started driving back. When he first got in trouble, Baby, you already have two strikes against you. That's right. You black and you're a boy. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm. He cried. That's right. It's he a true said statement. it's not fair. And that's a true statement. It's not fair. But that's the society that we live in. Right. And, and and it's still the same way if you walk past a Caucasian, anybody that's not black, they still, even we got some uppity black people that still clutch their purse when you walk past the guy. And it, why should I have, I shouldn't have dreads. Can you imagine? How I, this I'm not going to be sorry. How do you think it's true? So what? Say it. Well, I clutch. I clutch. I clutch mine but, I mean, sometimes too, April. The but reason why, saying. buddy, I know my people. I, no, 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 no. I'm just not you about no truck. It's not. I know my people. I know if I go to Bojangles at 11:59 on a Friday, and I just need to pack versus hot spot. And I see, man, shit, am I going to die in the... I got but running out right. You already right. looking but around. But it's you where already where you, know where you yes, are at. You yes, know where you at. Yes. yes. You, you can be in the mall. Oh, you can no, go no, to I Columbia and the mall. I clench my purse. And you turn around. It depends on where, where you, you are. Exactly. Where you at. You right, April. Right. You right. But I can go to Columbia and the mall or whatever. Or my child can go to Columbia and the mall. Mm. And he could sit there. And I buy my... I try my best. That's why I work two jobs. And I work 16 hours a day to make sure that my children have the best. That's right. Where they don't have to feel as though they have to go out there and do anything they don't have no business doing. Mm-hmm. Well, come on but now. But I also teach them in order before you get that polo jacket or the one with the teddy bear that costs two hundred and something. That's dollars, right. You have to make sure you do all your chores what and you have to make sure to you have all those grades and everything and you before it. you get that. And you are they're doing, doing their job. job. But they're doing out. their job. The kids that are getting this stuff, these rich kids, these kids that go to not gonna call no school they names. Have to be they grateful. still go out there and do. They don't because they don't have to be grateful. Yeah, they don't they're not grateful. Do anything. They're not so grateful. They're not grateful. They're not grateful. You have to yes. work for it. Yes. Even though mine's not going out there physically every day, by me working those hours, you almost a man. I take it. I hold you responsible for taking care of them household chores, washing right. those clothes, making sure that house is clean, right. and making sure your brother is fed. Right. You want certain things, whatever. You, you have to work. You have to work for it. You have to work for it. Then give him. So I he has to work for it. You have.
it will work. You, and if you don't want to do those households, then you can go out in the beginning about morals and our kids. Do we have a role to play when it comes down to how our kids' behavior is when they're outside of the home, rather school, rather That's in the community? Still, the number. Exactly. But they, but they, 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 they are totally still going to do. They're still going to do something. They're still going to do something. Kids are opposite, man. Let me tell you, my children are very mm -hmm. open with me. My son will call me while I'm at work and be like, Mama, it's this girl that our house I want to go to. We and that's a blah, great blah, blah, relationship. Blah, 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 blah. That's okay. okay. I don't want to hear it. But, you, but, you but I'd right. rather for him to come to me and talk to me where I can steer him in the right direction. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, be careful. You're not going to her house and her parents not home. That's right. 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 I don't right. want you there. How old right. is this girl? Right. I want to make sure this girl is of age. Right. Make sure her parents know that you're coming right. over there. Do this, do that, do this. Okay, make sure you protect yourself because you know herpes can't be protected even if you're wearing a condom. Bam! I'm just saying. It's skin to skin contact. You can get Correct. it on your arm, wherever Correct. you come in on contact with yeah. 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 anywhere. Yeah. A lot of people I'll don't know that. Be, that and be open with me where I'm going That's to right. lay up with this girl. I don't want to hear it. But, you, but I'd rather for you to right. come to me so I can guide you in the right direction. Okay, I'm going to bring up something else. Ego. And Lord, we're going to never end. Ego. But I'm going to bring up something else. Okay, and I feel like this. And y'all can blast me and say whatever. My kid is into girls okay. and basketball. Right. I would much rather him be into girls and basketball than be out in these streets gang banging or do whatever. Right. But then if she become pregnant, is it my fault because I accepted him to take this path rather no. than going doing all the other stuff that no, these kids do? No, not because I I was a teenage mother, and it's I, I mean it's not, not my mother's fault. fault. It's not it's my not mother's fault, fault at all. It was because I was being curious and naive. It, it, it's correct. Human, it's human nature. And and not only that, you ain't got to worry about that because your my nephew comes to me. If he Shoot, don't come he comes to me, to me he, he comes to his daddy. Yeah, he goes to my door. Well, how he's very open. Open. Oh, yeah. I'll say this. That goes back to what we said in the beginning. If we instill morals and values and understanding and have communication mm -hmm. understand. with our children, mm -hmm. regardless if it's about school, it's about bullying, <laughs> it's about relationships, it's about sports, it's about whatever. If they can come talk to us, we can alleviate half of those problems and that they, they, go, they go out into this world and have issues in school, have issues in the community, have issues in relationships. They have a better understanding of how to be African-American children. Mm -hmm. It goes back to mm -hmm. what we do in our house. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Takia. First of all, 45 minutes is not enough. No. No. Okay, 45 <laughs> minutes is not this enough. Is We're going to keep going. The keep meat going. of it, and we can't even continue. But I want to know... I don't have kids, so I'm just, I'm just curious. Do y'all believe everything that your children tell you? No. And if so, how do you know you if your child is answer? being you want to completely right honest? I'm just, we can, we can right I'll right. start. Okay. Okay. Let me start. Mm -hmm. And I hate to put him on blast like this, but we keep it real. Don't about my we do. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and I'm just keeping it real. I'll say, Kali, are you doing things you don't supposed to do? You get what I'm saying? No, mom, I'm not doing anything. I don't do nothing. Okay, here. I'm not even gonna speak out as to what it is, but everybody can read between them. Go ahead and take this. <laughs> Go ahead and take it in the bathroom with you. Let's see what's take going that drug on. Test. Go ahead and take that drug test. Let's see if you smoke it. Yeah. It was positive. Mm -hmm. Kali was smoking. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, as a parent, did I do something wrong? No, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. You have to look at the when age. you was growing yeah. up. You were curious. Your friends was doing it. You wanted to try it. Yeah. So listen, shh, we don't want people to know that. But yes, I tried it at his age. So Thank now you. I know what I did. Do I talk to him? Yes. Yeah. Or do I be mad? I no, talk to him. But you turned out on him. I talk to you, him. You tell him to You get what I'm saying? You tell but him Betty truth. or Patty or Mike or John might would have no, went no, in that no. behind. And they would have lost no. their child. They would have. They would have lost their child. So I'm planning child. on writing a book. Yeah, so y'all look out for it because my life has been a living hell. And I've experienced so many things. And I know when I do talk about my life story, a lot of people be like, well, damn. And a lot of people be like, you need to write a book. So I am working on writing a book. So y'all look out for it. And I am here but, for um, it. <laughs> but but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's both. I so don't know. So it was about... Um, do we believe our children? What's your input? Yeah, and the reason I, I asked knew that is because you said how you went to the school about the bus driver snatching your child off the bus. 
How do you? I'm not saying that he's lying, but how do you know? He's not lying he, because I talk to the other children that's on the bus. Oh, okay. I know my child can lie. My child will look you in the eye and lie. And lie. I know this. I talked to other children that was on the bus. Mm -hmm. They said that it. They confirmed it. Mm -hmm. um, however, I have three, mm -hmm. and all my children are in different. They got gas. Age bracket stages. They got gas. Yeah. Um, actually, um, what you call it? Every yeah. ten years or somewhere around there, but my old minds are seven years apart. <laughs> so all of them act different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Totally. Starting from my daughter, mm -hmm. she's off the chain. She's very vocal. She's early adult. She, no, she she's she's adult. She, she, she's she's adult. She's middle adult. She'll be she twenty five. She's middle adult. Okay. Look, look she's at me. Like what? Right? She's off the chain. But one thing I can say about my daughter, she's gonna tell you. Even when she was in school in middle school, she'd be like, "Yeah, my mom cursed out. She cursed the teacher out." She tell you she the came truth. Home. She tell you the truth. I told you. Some people may take that as disrespect. Yes, good. But I'd rather know. The accountability. Yeah. She learns to take her own accountability. I'd rather when you go and talk to the teacher. You, you already know. know. You already know. Yes. What about your next friend? When I, but then the thing was, when I went up there to that school about it, she started crying because the lady that she cursed out sat there and lied about she didn't curse at my daughter first. Mm. But your daughter had no, told no. the truth on every she end. She told the truth, but guess what? These teachers forget how long they've been teaching. Mm -hmm. And you know and them. I had the pleasure of telling that same person that cursed my daughter out. You remember Madell Jimphy? Probably Freeman. They Jimfie? probably knew Freeman. Or then. do you remember Lakeisha Cleckley or Fenicia Cleckley? Because all three of them said they had you in the past and you cursed That's them. That's how much a car. Mm -hmm. That was her! Oh, So I call the kid. Yeah. You feel like that's And I ain't, right. even, I ain't even had her. Yeah. I ain't even, I ain't even had her, but it sounded like a Carter. No name. It sounded like a Carter. Yes, it did. But I you forgot you. the people that you teach in the past grew. Mm -hmm. And we talk. Mm -hmm. So I told my baby, she you wipe your face. Ain't no need for you to cry. Mm -hmm. I believe she, she you. Does. I, believe, I, I believe it too. That's all that matters. Right. And see, that could break a child's whole everything in there. But can you pitch if a parent did not? Believe that child? That goes back to what you said. It depends My on middle? what goes on at home. It would have been different. That's a good relationship. That's how she was able to see the Hold truth. On. I got a good relationship with him too. Right, that's what I know. But he will sit there and lie to him. But you know him. For no reason. You know him right. though. No. You know him. You like you know your he child. Like, he like you know when your child he is like, like, I'm saying. <laughs> he don't like conflict. You know him. I don't, I don't like conflict. He don't like conflict at all. So he'd be like, my mom, all right. But he yeah, need to learn. It's going, he need to learn. It's going to be more. I know it ain't. Effort. I know you're not all right because I know you. Mm -hmm. Right. So tell mama what's going on. Right. right. My mama, all right. I don't want you. He don't want me to do anything. Right. But because he know you about it. That's the pleasure of having an older sister. Correct. Mm -hmm. Because he will go to her. Yeah, we gonna have. And to she will come to me. Mm -hmm. And I handle it that way. Now this little. Is the little one is 11 years old. He will look you in your face and lie. And not only that, he's a manipulator. So to mm. be honest with you, the oldest is the one that was really the truthfulest. All of them are truthful. But however, the oldest one be, if you well, know she said like, I did it. You know. She, 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 she going to tell you she, she, she said. Yeah. She said. Ain't she, no if and but yeah, about but the baby boy, he'll tell you. But you can only believe 75% of yeah, what, what he said. Yeah, what he said is it's 25% of lies. Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. Yeah. But did. my she thing, had a um, to what I up, wanted to say is, she grew going, up back, older. Yeah. That's, that's going back to um, one of the questions is, not only when a man moves on from out of relationship with children, you have to check the person that you're getting in a relationship with. Correct. I have had the pleasure of my ex marrying someone else, and I had no issue. It was done and over with. We just couldn't get along. But why are you mad at me because he's cheating with somebody else and you thinking it's me? Just because I pull up and I speak to y'all and get out the car, you want to fight for what? At the end of the day, we still got children or whatever. Mm -hmm. You still in my child life, but why you want to fight me because you think he's still sleeping with me? It's not me. But at the end, you have no. But you have to look at how you got him. We was together when you started sleeping with him. Mm. So that's why she's so no matter who it is, that's, that's, that's why she is here. here. No matter who it is, I don't care if it's somebody in California. It's she can have the proof, but, but it's always going to be you. I don't care how you feel, but at the end of the day, you need to get your woman in check. 
That's but you can't. Is he, he's, you never, know, he's, never, he's never. He's never going to be able to get that woman in check because in her own mind, I don't care. She already knows. It's gonna, I don't care. He's never going to be and able. And that's to be why he don't gonna be, be in to. his seventeen-year-old life because he's not man enough to put his yeah. heifer in yeah. check. Yeah. Yeah. She can't. We're public, girl. She, We're I'm public. Here. Anybody can she see She can't here. respect me. She can't come to my house. I told her, her to leave her at the post office or whatever you got to do to come get your child. But she can't come in my yard if she can't respect and my thing me. Is, yeah, it's her mind. You ain't even got to talk to me. You already wait. married him. Because like, you, you already knew what you did. Yeah, he's you doing you it with yeah. him, but he just can't do it, it to, to me. It to you too. Yeah. He ain't doing it with me. I know what mm -hmm. you got. That's why I ain't put up no fuss. You did me a favor. She never she said, no do you believe your children? You know, like, do you know where you're lying? You put that woman in front of your children. That's what you did. I can honestly well, say, way. like, far as the question that um, Takiyah originally asked about, you know, do you know your children's lying? Mm -hmm. Well, um, the baby doesn't talk, so <laughs> it's still telling if he's lying or not. But however, the 14-year-old, I can honestly say this. Yes, I do know when my child is lying. I know when my child is telling the truth. I know when he's lying. But I also have a good relationship and I develop that and I want to keep that where he'll mm -hmm. talk to me about anything. Right. When I say anything, anything. I'm anything. talking about from a relationship, relationship, from school to what's going on in the mm -hmm. household, how he feels about things in life, what his mm -hmm. future goals are. When I tell you we talk about anything, we have unadulterated conversations yes. about whatever he got going on and we talk about it. And I'm not and, judge you. And I don't Never. judge him. We talk. I give him advice. He listens. I tell him, you know, like, what well, the safe thing to do is protect you mm -hmm. and everything that you do, no matter what it is. And we mm -hmm. have those kind of conversations. So, yes, my child can lie. Mm -hmm. But, however, mm -hmm. I know, know when, you know when he's lying. lying. <laughs> I don't have a boy. So, I just want to insert this also. I just want to ask this. Okay. Being, being mothers of boys, mm -hmm. seriously speaking, mm -hmm. and being women okay. also, right. who know men. Right. Right. Y'all, y'all are not. You have a daughter. Are, are you guys? Are you? Are you guys? Are you guys? What is? What is? What? The lessons for the women. No, the lessons. Yes, the lessons that you are teaching. Are you not teaching, you're not teaching whenever they do? Let's say if they do like a girl. Right. Okay. They, they like a girl. Well, I right? Meant one. All right. When they do say My they do. I'm about to be. Right, listen. When, when we do say they like a girl, this when they talk right. to you like, "Mom, I like her." This and right. that. Right. Right. Do you always? Actually, take the girl's side. Be like, well, yeah, you need to do this, do that, or hold on, son. Or you go from a woman's side. All right, you say you like her. You say this and that. Let and me say. Friend. Let me speak do first. You, do you give her? Do you give I'm them in, straight? I'm already do, in you, this yeah. do you? Do you give them straight? Give them no straight. Straight no check. Listen, not from just because that's my mama's baby, no. and you might you and your mama boy. I give them straight. Cause but I know I give them straight. No. Listen, but you know no, it's no, no, good no, no, women no. out there. No, 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 no. Also, you know it's good no, girls out there. Also, but but without being bi, listen now, because I'm just saying. Just look no. look at look at y'all. No, look at, you see how they jumping. You see how they jumping. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Without being biased, my son is yeah, so good. yeah. Without yeah. being biased, yeah. you do you actually him. do you yeah. give him? Do you give them as far as advice? Do you tell them, hey, you don't need no girlfriend right now. It's too many. Look, it's too many girls out there right now. You That's don't, don't me kiss them all. all day long. Don't always be accessible. I'm sorry. Yeah, that type of thing. Yeah, I have a grade. I have. You don't know nothing about love right now. But let me tell you this. My children are the oldest. Mm mm. My children are the oldest. I have that situation. We are doing straight no chase. First and foremost, I give them a little bias. With a little bias. I give them straight no chase. Okay. I'm a woman. You give a little bias, and I do. Second of all, that's my son, and I love him dearly. Right. I was on my deathbed with him. Third, he had yeah, a girlfriend. Too. We yeah, remember it. <laughs> he had a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Whatever they happen, they hurt each other. Right. He can't get over it. Right. Mm -hmm. So he's I hurt. hurt. He's hurt. Yeah. So he don't need to hurt nobody She's else. She's hurt. Mm -hmm. Right. She reached out to me. Right. Okay. Even though I don't want to hear some of the stuff, but we still conversate. Okay. And we just went out this past weekend. How okay. did it go? It went fine. We always have a so relationship. So talk we about talk the hurt. Her. Like where yeah, we did. But okay. like I tell her, you need to move on. Okay. But how, she's he's not sure a man. how to move on. She's but not. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, he's a man. And what he says or how he treats you, you don't have to accept. That's Even though right. that's my son. Right? Mm -hmm. You told him And the truth. I love him dearly. You told him the But truth. from a female point of view, baby, you don't sit there and let that's no man right. disrespect you. Never. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I told him. I can't him. understand why he disrespected you. 
because I taught him differently. And I know he's not going to tell me everything, but she went on and she told me everything. Okay. Well, and I told her, a man can dish it out. They but can't they can't take, take, they take it. Can't, it. Can't That's the cry. truth. Make, now, what I told my son out. is, okay, you're in a relationship with this girl. Yeah, I really like her, blah, blah. I'm not buying no other girl, no Christmas, no Valentine's Day. You ain't got to bring no right. Ashley, Mina, Keisha, no. whoever. Right. You, I'm not oh, doing all that. Right. So if you with this girl, you with this girl. At the same time, and it may be contrary to what I'm saying, you're young. Right. Yeah. You don't have to sit here and be like, okay, I'm with her, I'm with her. You ain't sleeping with everybody. You know, so right. I believe but come even on though mine's not with his ex girlfriend, that's okay. still my girl. Can we go you know around? what I mean? Can yeah. we go around? It's, it's gonna be okay, first so, for free. Go ahead, Therese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do believe I because I don't have boys in his sight, but I do have a god brother who I talked who just came out and finally yeah. told me the truth. I need to told a table full of men the truth. But any but anyway, as far as that, like big glory, that's not big glory. My mm -hmm. god brother, he can put a photo on Instagram right now. Two minutes, my set about five minutes later, he got two hundred and forty three likes, this and that, and multiple comments from girls, this handsome and that. Fellow. He's handsome, he's cute, he has he's tapered, he keeps himself up good. Okay. I mean, it's not like he has the best high end stuff, right. but he keeps himself up good. Cause right. stuff is expensive, the bud growing, but we do the best that we can. For real, for right, real. Right, right. All right, um, he came up he came clean with me and told me he did have sex. He used to have sex. The reason he came clean with me because he told his group boy, how the hell are you gonna tell me? Don't tell me. Right. But anyway, he's sixteen. Okay. He okay. is sixteen, which I understand it. I understand it. So I was I was sleeping the other night and I called him. I was under the garage myself. I called him. On the phone with him about thirty minutes talking about this thing and then day he said he need more comments. This and that, this and that. Okay, because I told you you need to tell me something how to do it. But it's more of girls are going to be on them attracting this, attracting this, just as far as in, in high school, right. track, football, or whatever. All right, we yeah. know this. So as far as them having sex and multiple girls, I told him don't always be accessible. I don't yeah. care who's DMing you. You always hold yourself or a standard. You don't I let understand. this type of girl always get in contact with you. I understand. You let this one go so everybody above can try to. They know they ain't going to be able to get hold of you. They know they're not going to be able to get right. in your door. They know they ain't going to be able to get your phone number. They can DM you all you want on Instagram, right. but you hold yourself to a certain standard. They talk about you so like you can talk keep, about girls. Mm -hmm, and I said, so you can keep the good, you know, the good ones up. Mm -hmm. But don't commit yourself to nobody. Don't commit yourself to nobody. And don't tell nobody no lies to you. Because she actually told me, Trees, I don't. I tell them. And they still do. do it. They go harder. I Look said, they feel I, it's believe, a challenge. I believe them. I believe them. They, oh. It's a challenge. Well, it's empty. I believe them. It's so, empty. You but at least you're not being biased as far as saying, it's like, well, yeah, you need to get with one girl right. instead of. No, you let them know no, it's a. More. It's a challenge. Yeah, I want one. All right, so. You let them know it's a variety, so Correct. you do allow them. So how do you tell them to handle it when it is a variety and they okay. do like? Okay, so they do me, like. Well, okay, so I'll say this. All right, so how do you tell them how to handle the variety? All right, my, of women, my the variety is, who's attracted. Because Mari is not a your your son is not your son is not right. all of them are attracted. Mine have so a variety. So how, so how, what, do, how do they handle one it? One thing about him that variety. I know they don't mean anything to him mm -hmm. because he don't come to me and he don't tell me about. If they mean somebody the that one that they heard, the one that he told me yeah. about that's and brought around. That's how I know he really like like her. Mm -hmm. Now the other ones, he'll come to me and he'll be like, "I want to go to this girl house." She whoop the whoop. He might show me a picture. He's straight man, hard with you. And I'll tell him, "Look, from the way this picture look, be careful, son. Make sure you strap up. Make sure you ask questions because some girls will set you up. Yes, that's right." That's Yes. If they feel that your family got money, correct. Mm -hmm. A couple you of dollars they can mm. Some females, and I'm sorry, this you're, is you're from not experience. Wrong. You're not you wrong. Have Don't some say you're females sorry. that's actually trained yep. to, to have it. kids by people that Ooh, they yeah, think money. are got a couple of are wealthy or a wealth yeah, or what well have off. you to, in, or to, to live off of that uh -huh. child support. And that's true. Correct. And so I, I tell him. I'm going to go back to what Ooh, he said. Yeah. Go to it. I know you so like with my son. Okay, my son is 14. He only told me about one girl. Mm -hmm. One serious relationship. Mm -hmm. He told me about her. We bought um, birthday, Valentine's Day, Christmas gifts, and that kind of thing. So I was okay with it. But however, he recently said that they broke up. So here go me. I said, well, son, mm -hmm. what happened? You know, he explained to me. I said, well, son, you know, um, you have to understand because you're outgoing. Oh, yeah. You're doing different things. You're, you you may be doing more than what she's able to do. So in her mind, she feels like, you know, you could be out there mingling with other girls. 
I was like, so you have to look at it from that perspective. So he was like, yeah, mom, but I'm not. I said, okay, well, you know, if you're comfortable with the decision that you made, and you know, they parted with they broke up, but they're still friends. I said, that's okay. I said, but however, anybody else, don't come telling me about any random. Right. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to go for it. Yes. Like, you need to... When, when, if you, to me, I feel like because they've been together for a while, I feel like, you know, I know her family, she knows mine. So, I, I see that's a good upbringing. I see that she, she, she's a good one. I was like, so don't get confused with these ones that just want to have a good time. But you do. Dad, dad, you, you do. Put the good ones on the back burner. I said, because I don't want to hear that. But still, even though they're young, mm -hmm. y'all still have to realize, look, I was 12 years old when I met my ex-husband. I was 12. Atlanta, I was 12 when I met my ex-husband. We were together calling ourselves boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. We had a daughter. When we got of age, we got married. My tw my first boyfriend. Yeah, I had teddy bear. I remember that big teddy bear. Every <laughs> <laughs> years my ago. My first boyfriend. A big church ended up being So you feel like it was real love? Husband. You feel like it was real love? I mean, Do we really that's, know cause, no, because that's all. That's what she knew at that moment. She but, didn't know it was but, all. These but believe it or not, he's still in my life. Even and though we could not make it together, we're still but friends. So that's that's okay. Telling you that I know we did about an hour. So they don't mind. They don't care. This may go another hour. We're still friends. It's okay. Angela, read the topic. That's okay. crazy. Is it? Anyway, sad. before you read, anybody got to take a restroom break? I had to pee. <laughs> no, well, I do, I do want to open up right. a can of worms. Well, hold on. Oh. Wait, not, oh, go ahead. I got you to discuss this until you come. Yeah, go ahead. I heard when, when when y'all I heard when we was when we were um conversing and we was like um as far as when we were talking about the fathers being missing not missing not involved it was talking about discipline right all right and I heard you say well, like if the fathers you know you're not together but yet um uh -oh, as far as different. discipline wise you know mm -hmm. and you say discipline wise mm -hmm. and I know you said something about discipline also how do you how do you handle <laughs> the situations where you do you know you do let's say call and say hey this happened. And there, you disagree with the course of discipline that they're about to administer to your child. We have a conversation before. If other people don't know how to have a constructive conversation as far as with the other parent about that, what kind of advice could you give the people who are watching as far as when it comes to discipline? Because I do, like you say, you're the mother and you call it and get your father, tell the father about it, this and that, and you say, hey, I think you need to handle this one. That's the how conversation you, that you all need to have. How, not how can they, that you have how can they have approach trust. it? How can they approach it? To it, they say, how can they approach it to a, a over aggressively father? One a father who always an over to go, aggressively how can father. They, yeah, how can they bring mm -hmm. those up? Okay, it's the those difference situations between up. discipline and abuse. Yes, it is. It is a fine line. If you feel and y'all have this conversation, you can automatically feel how that conversation is going to end. Or mm -hmm. what they can't you know, you, you know mean. ahead of time because you know you who you're dealing right. with. Exactly, you know this already. You know. So does that you make know. does that make you withhold with you knowing how they're going to handle it? Do that make you withhold to my information? Certain, yeah, hold like certain, certain information okay. about okay. it. I'm yeah. Tell you. Does that make Prime you withhold example, it? My first boyfriend, my ex husband, my daughter, father. After we divorced. I never took him to child support court. I never did anything because I know his life wasn't situated. But you okay? know he was going to take care of story. No, I respect that. He did not. That's how he did not take care of his daughter. Because I already yeah. knew what his lifestyle was. I, yeah. I know he had him issues yeah. within himself. But you was But honest. I always told him, you know your daughter is here. Right. I should not have to I go to court. I have to tell you. To make somebody else make you pay child support to take care of your daughter. Right. However, sometimes it's more peaceful to just leave that person alone to let them stay from out your life. Okay. But yet if they wanted to have a healthy co-parent It's different situation if it was healthy and co-parent, but it wasn't healthy and co-parent. Mm -hmm. We were on different levels. Gotcha. And he explained like to me that he had some issues growing up and he had some issues as being a man, which I felt it wasn't healthy because it wasn't I, I the way I, I was growing up. Mm -hmm. I mean, where I was taught. The way it looked don't look like that's However, I mean. it took to where our daughter was getting ready to graduate. Keep in mind, we still that's kept in contact know. with each okay. other, what have you. But I never forced him to take care of his daughter or never forced him to have that relationship with his daughter. I felt when you were ready, you know she was here. Okay. And I know a lot so, of women can't do that. But sometimes it's best to just leave good enough alone 
Because if you invite a person in your life, then you're looking for chaos. If you already know how that person mm-hmm. is. That's a true statement. You so, open your door to it. No. I didn't open my no, door. No, no, no. We're not saying you, but I'm just saying yeah, that if you, you already know, know right. you're stirring up a whole can of worms. Right, you're stirring right. up conflict and right. all kind of issues that's, that's going to affect your child. Mm-hmm. However, I didn't mess with him. So when she got ready to graduate high school, he must have, long story short, he ended up going through the same thing I went through. But instead of it being the female left with the kids, he was left with the kids. So he so it opened his he experienced himself as being a single dad, mm-hmm. and he apologized after seventeen years. But I tell you what, he did. So when she yeah. went to um, college, he was there. He was there That's for her through college and everything. Even when she finished, he allowed her to move in. That's a blessing. That's so good. However, that dark person was still there. I never told my daughter that that dark person was still there. Mm-hmm. So when she realized it, and they got into it, and I'm not going to say exactly mm-hmm. what happened, but she was like, Mom, Mom. she felt her daddy was crazy. Why you ain't telling my daddy was crazy? Because that's something that you needed to find out on your oh, yeah. own. I was not you going to not spew that into her. Exactly. Correct. I'm, I'm for real. I'm, this no fake. I give you that. Because yeah. the nationality is kind of hard. It's kind of hard when you're going through the, you know, let's say if y'all yeah. ever had conversations about it. Hard for you to not tell the truth because you know it would have made her biased towards it. Exactly. So why? Exactly. And he might not mm-hmm. have treated her the same yes. way he treat me. Yes. But she don't. He love his daughter dearly. Yeah. But like he explained to me later on because we weren't mature. We were young. Mm-hmm. But he explained to me later, April, I'm sorry for the way I did you and the way I did our daughter. And I commend you for raising such a beautiful woman. Um, and I just wasn't together. And when I disappeared, I was ashamed because I couldn't provide like I wanted to for her. He didn't mm-hmm. feel like a man himself. He didn't feel like a man himself. But I never downed him. Good. You never did. But you also know. Knew, but you also knew. You also felt that. Hey, I know you could have been more, but I cannot waste that much more time with you now. I know you could have been more. But and I, you I couldn't tried waste to no push you to waste more. any more of your I time. I couldn't waste any more of my time daughter. because I had to raise my daughter. Yeah. And I had to focus my attention on raising my daughter, not helping you through your issues yeah. that right. you had to come across. Yourself. You're not wrong. Correct. And I do. I do also believe that's where a lot. Of, like pointing the finger back at us as women. Exactly. We do. Because we got to take on yeah. shelf. Now on the other hand. If you don't take that the route, sec- yeah, you will I drag have, yourself yes, down. If I you don't take the route that she said she took as far as concentrating her child different versus fathers. Else. My children have three different days. They, yes, they do. You but they're all seven daddies. years apart and I know they're... And the relationships didn't work. However, I guarantee you, if you, you talk to any one of my children, fathers, even my ex-husband was willing to take on to the, all the children. He said, if anything happened to you, you don't have to worry about the kids. I will take care of them. Wow. All three of them feel the same way. Wow. Well, that's because we all have that's that relationship. One. I have that relationship with all three of them. I don't down them. Everybody is human. Everybody go through different that's issues. Right. It's all about communication. And that has now, with the second one, you. I did put him on child support. But it still has a lot but of support. But I did about put you. him on child support. We moved together. Mm-hmm. All right, and that so was because I had no choice. I had to keep my kids on. That goes Medicaid. back to what I said. Mm-hmm. Medicaid. I had to put them on Medicaid and everything. See? And the thing was, they couldn't believe him when we got in the courthouse. They was like, y'all still got I said, yes, we still But to get help. But it's all about beating the system. Because mm-hmm. insurance, insurance Baby, is high. Insurance 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 is was Insurance is high. 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 Insurance it's coming back in the same household. It ain't we no can issue. I well. can give you the money back. I mean, it don't make no mm-hmm. difference because we still into in this together. Right. right. Mm-hmm. It don't make no difference. Even though but we were separated down, down the line, mm-hmm. we were straightforward. Yeah, had to do but I mean, we had to do what we had to do even though exactly. we were together. He still ended up on child support. But I mean, mm-hmm. it was still going in the same household. Right. So, so that, 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 it with that being said, and then we have to go cross blue shields. We have personal insurance and Medicaid. Those, How long have we been talking to the specialists and all that yeah. stuff and paying money out of pocket every time he go to the doctor and he was going to the doctor every, every time I mean, every since he was born. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, was, he has scoliosis. Mm-hmm. So, so here's the thing. Yeah. This goes to the qu- next question. Okay. That we have. What's the next what question? What are the pros and cons of dating a younger man? Oh, we've already Ooh. discussed that. The pros and cons of dating a man, which you know not to ask me, it doesn't matter. The you pros and cons of dating 60 years old. Amari Fogel, why are you tuning in? 
Oh, Why? that's my son. Hey, baby. But yeah, you they can date a man. April. They snitch you I know. <laughs> you can date a man that's 60 years old that's still considered a dog and have multiple women in every game. Versus a 27 year old man that done graduated college and got his master's and have his degree, he could still be a dog too. Right. Me personally, I say go with the younger guy that's yeah, pleasant go. looking to the eyes <laughs> than going to the one that have everything sagging and still a dog. What's the difference? I know the, di the difference. Can I, can I answer that? <laughs> if you go Please. longer. You go ahead. Okay. Alright, so, okay, so this is the way I look at it. How I remember my profession, I'm a registered nurse. Okay. However, I do see patients. I see older patients. And just telling you what I observe from them, a lot of them come in my office and they sit down. And they're just as dog as all our doors. Oh. They can be 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old. And they still sit down at home. The younger they are, the easier they are to train. I'm sorry to say the that. Older the ones older ones I can the say. Grow with, <laughs> the grow with. The grow with cousin. The older ones I can say. They're the grow with. their ways. <laughs> And they want things a certain way. They don't want to get married right, again. Look at me. And and they just want to have a good time. I'm gonna be straightforward with you. That's what I observe from the older men. The old they women. just want to okay. have a good time at that point in time for in life. They want to keep it. Want to say so. Okay, so you tell us your input yeah. on the younger. How old are you? Yeah, I'm sorry. So I'm 24 years old. Oh, oh that's a oh, blessing. Oh, that's oh, my daughter. What a blessing. <laughs> I, I That's why I was so up. amazed because you look close to my age. Well, thank so. you. <laughs> but um, being that I'm young, in a way, I prefer to talk to older men. However, older men have a tendency to take, take advantage, advantage of me mm -hmm. because they know like certain things that they can offer me or certain things that they could tell me or we can do that a younger person never introduced to me. Mm, that's true. Mm. So, yeah, it's kind of hard because mm. if I talk to a younger guy, nine times out of ten, they don't have themselves together. Like, people I talked to in college, they wasn't looking for a relationship. They just wanted to have sex a good or just time. do whatever they wanted to that's do. That's what those days are Now, on the other hand, an older person, nine times out of ten, they already have kids. They already have someone that they're dealing with or have dealt with. And they're really just trying to tell me things that I never heard before so that I can do what they want me to do. But not like they want to take me serious because I'm so young. I don't know how to cook. I don't know how to clean. Now, this thing, these yeah, things are not true because I know what to do. Right. But they just think that because I'm so no. young. It's an assumption. Yeah. What and I, I don't have something? kids or anything. So I'm just, you know. And don't I waste them years that. proving it either, girl. I'm <laughs> going to tell you from experience and tell you what I tell my daughter. You're young. Use it to your advantage. Use it to your advantage. Get your education. That's Make right. yourself self-sufficient. You get set up straight. Independent mm -hmm. to where you don't have to depend on no man. Because what the older men do, and mm -hmm. I've experienced myself, they will get you used to this lifestyle that they feel that you can't mm -hmm. afford mm -hmm. on your own. Mm -hmm. Therefore, mm -hmm. exactly. Therefore, you have no choice but to deal with a BS. Exactly. But on the other hand, if you get your education and you build your career to where you don't have to bow down to nobody, mm -hmm. they have no choice but to come at you correctly. Exactly. And most of them are going to be offended. I gotta but say something. No, but, yeah. but at the end of the day, that's how you mm -hmm. can define the ones that's weak and want to control you from mm -hmm. the ones that actually want to be with you and want to build with you. Exactly. But April, and that's don't, true. don't forget to tell her it's okay to play the fool no, 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 that no, dance no, no. the fool that you <laughs> feel you. It's okay to <laughs> Cause, come on, cuz. You gotta tell us. I'm about to tell play you. As long as you know you're playing it. No, I'm fortunate because I love mine to death. My other half. Yeah, I'm happy. My other half. Okay. It took me a while to get there, but I found. But you did. You did. You did. But the thing is, and he will tell you that I'm different from other females that he's dealt with. Mm -hmm. I don't need, and he knows this. I don't need him to take care of me. However, he chose to take care of me. Mm -hmm. But it's vice versa. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not looking for him to do it, but by him being a man, I shouldn't have to, to be out there to... 16 hours yeah. a day. But he know we're not married, so April is going to do because April has a habit. I like red bottoms. I like $1,200 shoes. I like bags. I like we're all totally this. Like nice stuff. We're totally yeah, I like nice stuff, which he he flips on. But me being the person that I am, you're not going to tell me what I can't buy. Right. Mm -hmm. like, so, therefore, I know you're not going to give me the money to buy certain things if I don't need it. So, I go out there and, and work. And get the bag on my right. own. Right. And, and get, get the bag on my own. Spend it on However, what you want to spend he don't like me working those long hours. Mm -hmm. So, he feel the need to help take some of the burden off of me. 
to where I don't have to work those hours, but mm-hmm. I still chose to. So you, but, you work more for exactly. your exactly for, for pleasure, for one, for pleasure, for one. Not for my. She's a compulsive shopper. He has my shop. back. He loves me to death. It's a blessing. Yeah, even though we've been through, we've been through hell. Mm-hmm. But I know he loves me genuinely. And anytime a man will sit there and stick with you when you're handicapped, you know they love. Yeah, you. Mm-hmm. yeah. And he did that. And I was just blessed enough to find somebody that's you like ended, that. ladies. That's right. Right. But you just make sure that you focus on your school and your career. Mm-hmm. Have fun. That's right. The smartest person don't speak a lot. Mm-hmm. They listen and they watch. They, they observe the, it. The find the have fun part on how give her a little insight on how she can have fun and be constructive okay. at the same yeah. time. First just of all, at her age, right you don't have to no, no, she don't got no kids. She don't got no kids. Don't let it her act okay. like you don't get a look. And I'm gonna say this to all y'all. Y'all better understand. I got it's okay to myself. date multiple people. I got don't get me okay. wrong. Yeah, you don't have to sleep with all of them. But it's okay to date. Let me say this. As in your terms, you that is the interview. That's your business, honey. That is the interview process. And you don't have to get it all together as far as falling love getting the man settled down you ain't even got to get that for yourself no. just because you're a woman you have a good time no, darling you know, right. but you conduct yourself like a lady exactly Very always much. like a lady mm-hmm. but okay. if the door closes if the door closes all right that like in a other free words yeah. if you exactly. decide when the door closes <laughs> it's okay you decide to <laughs> that cause because <laughs> you want to exactly it's because you, you want, want to and you just want don't get it twisted yes yes not because i can't afford or not because you can't afford to put me in a hotel room it's because it's just spontaneous Spontaneous. Exactly. Right. So, what are y'all talking about? And on the yes. other hand, I know, and I'm going to keep it real. See, you don't have the end of the few minutes. But I'm keeping it real because I know a lot of people on Facebook consider me to be fast. Ever since I was in fast. high school, yes, because fast I had a... Because yeah. you had an early because baby had a, early. Exactly. That don't mean nothing. But a lot of people look at that It's an assumption. I'm just saying, no, it's true. But that's not... No, I've even had to wear... That's not the understand period. They'll be like, why she don't like you? What, you slept with her man or something? Oh, wow. Yeah, I've had that come to me before. And that's not the case. The case is... Because they can't find no public dirt about you to say it, so they got to spill it. The less you know about someone, the more you will assume and put out their portrayal as something else. They don't. A lot of people don't even know what I do, and I'm very educated. Exactly. She's a she career student. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I graduate. Yes, <laughs> graduate from everything. No <laughs> if anybody needed I therapy or whatever, I did sorry. study for forensic No, we're not. <laughs> I said it. 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 I Okay. And I have studied on master's level as forensic psychology and clinical therapy. Okay. okay. So oops, she may oops. be able to assist you with some of your needs. So. <laughs> We're hiding the body. Y'all, we're going to end this segment. And mental. Y'all, that it too. was such a great topic. We did not mean to go on and on, but as you see, it can start somewhere. Uh oh, y'all Tree forgot I had my hand. No, you go got ahead. me questioning it. I ain't Which one was it? We said that, no, lot. no, the paper. You got a lot. Oh, you the paper Angie had. Oh, that you bought up about pros and cons Cause of dating a younger man, an okay. older man. Yeah, the, the pros and cons of dating an older man. I am a cougar and I'm proud of it. The pros and cons of dating. I have matter of fact, Darius is two years older than me. I know what I want when I got him. Okay. I'm not gonna even lie, and I, and I played a nice two hours first and everything. That's why I used to smoke Rico back in school. You know how to match one. I got it, match one. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't close. need you for your own. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. And I'm for real. Like two months later, when I gave him some butt, you got a girlfriend. Now I told him he had a girlfriend. <laughs> I got, that line, right. I got that line off a of movie or something. Know. It was like, you got a girlfriend now. Norbit. Norbit. You got a girlfriend now. I told you, you had a girlfriend. Get your ass up and hold my hand. Yeah. <laughs> It's when we had a girlfriend. It's been it's been the benefits on. I'm gonna use a. Di- I'm just gonna use a different word that my cousin used. Um, you you can you have the opportunity to grow with the man, and with you yeah. being a little older, it's certain things that you can do. Um, that strokes the ego and strokes a man and fiddles the boat. Mm-hmm. That could actually have you growing in other areas before you actually grow fully in a relationship mm-hmm. area mm-hmm. era that makes him want to grow in a more right. area with you. Um, so. I, I'll take the I'll take the younger man over the older man. Um, the older man he already has once he gets with you he already has set in his mind okay. how he wants you where he wants you this and that mm-hmm. and then when it don't fit because his expectations how he wants you 
that's when it goes to either a more oh. controlling way or something. We're going to continue different. this segment until my yeah, battery dies. Always go, always go with the younger man. Go always ahead, go with the younger you. man. I'm going to say being the stage that I'm in right now, I'm probably going to go with the older man. Good. Only Ooh. because if you want to take advantage of me, I'm smart. I already know where you're you thinking, but I already know what I got going on. I already know where I'm trying to get you where I'm trying to get in life. So, so hey, if you want to throw that money, go ahead. I'm going to use that to get where I need to get in life. But I'm also going to keep in mind. That hey, you really not trying to take me serious. You just trying to take me. But how you do not going no? But some home. some of them things that they were play that get in your head. You made the thank you. Think I'm you not judging. I'm yeah, serious. This one of the things that people say you don't push the button. I can't push the button and let you see mm -hmm. glitter gonna come all over me. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell you. So how you, you push that, button. girl? Is that, they can get in your head and then I the energy from the stroke of their people with just my name on it because if push comes to shove, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm telling you that now. Get them life insurance policies. So. And Real tall. I don't, care if, you, I don't care if you have to pay for it. I don't mm -hmm. care. I pay monthly. Well, I would or say if he opens right up, now, if you open up a, 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 a savings account to where he has to deposit monthly into that account, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, how are you going to benefit from it? Yeah, or if you could just pay my because if he dropped dead, rent, no, that, it, it no, comes no, more that than me just me that. To because if he dropped no, 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 no. but if he dropped dead the following month, what you going to do after? Man, you right. You, Sit in the but, back seat of the but, church but, but and can't get acknowledged. No, you gonna get no. the insurance policy on yeah, his exactly. mind. Yeah, exactly. That's the conversation you gonna have. Higher than that, for real. Because I mean, if you look at it at the end of the day, you not leaving with him or not. He didn't want that at no twenty four. You're right. What you mean, insurance policy? Oh, and who on the what? On the what? The boyfriend? The boo thing? No, whoever. If he signed his signature. It's certified and dealt with. I'll get you but see, me personally, one. I don't deal with. I never dealt I don't with no married man. I believe don't deal Jesus. with no married man. Mm -hmm. that, that thing but I have dealt with I ever, and I've, I've married men have always approached me, and the first thing I'd be like, "What in the world can you do for me? Mm -hmm. What you gonna do? Pay an insurance policy with my name on it? Because me, and it might sound cold, but you have to look at relationships as better business deals. That's true. What? Oh, certain ones, not that. all, but certain, yeah, no, all of them. No, Friendships too. If you can't uplift me when I'm down, what I need with you? Okay, when we we gotta end it. Okay, I'm gonna my, up, I Thank can you from here. Watching. We thank y'all nice. for watching. We went on and on and on because, like I said, one topic can go to another topic to another topic, and it's just real talk. Yes. We all brought ourselves in it personally, and that's what we do. So if you want to be on a Sunday discussion, hit me in the DM. Let me know. As long as you're not crazy, you can come here. We can talk mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in.